Recycling solar panels isn't an easy task. Each panel has to be pulled apart and the components separated, making it time consuming and costly. So at the moment, it would be cheaper to put them into landfill than to recover them. Solar is meant to be a renewable energy sustainability related product. Uh, getting the best recovery out of a solar panel is probably more paramount than any other product. But Deakin University researchers think they've found a solution. They've discovered a way to extract valuable nanosilicon from the panels without using the toxic acids currently needed for the process. A method they say is both cheaper and better for the earth. There are many other technologies around the world, but most of the technologies are complicated, multi-step, time-consuming. And it's a process that could prove lucrative for solar recycling firms. Nanosilicon sells for huge sums on the commercial market. We would be ecstatic if we could achieve that at the moment, of course. It's uh, some incredible numbers, $45,000 per kilo for nanosilicon. Deakins is one of a number of Australian research projects looking at ways to improve solar recycling. The next step is to test whether these new technologies work on an industrial scale. To try and not only um, separate the panel and the cell, but do it in a way that it's financially viable as a business model, not just lab scale. Federal Environment Minister Tanya Plebisek recently told Parliament she will regulate solar panel recycling and put pressure on industry to step up and do their share. Otherwise, she says about a quarter of a million tonnes of these products will end up in landfill by the end of the decade. Rachel Clayton, ABC News, Geelong.